Hey everyone, um, I want to talk about strategies to fight against uh, the tech platforms and, and there are basically three strategies if you ask me. You can work together with them, you can fight back by creating your own relationship with customers and you can decide to go full force against them. And in a previous video, I already talked about partnering up with them and working together with them. I'm not going to talk about that right now. I want to focus on this last category because I, I see a number of companies that really go full force against the tech giants. And it's, it, I think it's only a handful of companies that can actually do that because you need some resources. You need a lot of budget. Um, you need a lot of balls to do it, actually. But, but there's some great examples. And one of the cases that I like is the battle between Disney and Netflix. Um, a few months ago, Disney canceled their subscription with Netflix and people were like, hey, why would they do that? That's a lucrative contract. Why would they stop? And then a few months ago, Disney actually acquired Fox Media, the content of Fox for $52 billion. And then a few days after that, they announced that now as probably the biggest content owner in, in the Western world, they decided to start their own streaming service and fighting back directly towards Netflix. Will they succeed? I don't have a clue. Uh, but it's interesting to see, uh, Disney is a, is a great brand, they have a lot of content, they have a lot of potential, but they have zero customers today with streaming services. Netflix has 125 million customers, so I don't know what the, what the consequence will be, but you see a lot of chips on the roulette table when you, when you talk about bets like that. But it's fun to see how a Disney is, is trying to fight back against Netflix. That's one example. Another case that I really like is what is happening in the car industry. You have the three big car manufacturers in Germany, Volkswagen with Audi, Mercedes and BMW. And these guys, about a year and a half ago, together they bought the mapping division of Nokia. And with that mapping division, now they have their own digital maps, which means that they don't need the digital maps of Apple or Google to get their autonomous cars going. Um, and you feel that these three manufacturers, these three big German players, they don't want to be depending on the tech players. Uh, and Mercedes decided to start their own virtual voice assistant. If you compare that with Toyota, Toyota decided to work together with Amazon, with Alexa. But Mercedes decided, and I talked about this with the CEO of Mercedes uh, Europe, and he said, I will never give my data to one of the tech players. And I think it's pretty smart because he said there are three key sources of, of data collection of customers. You have our phone or mobile, you got our house and you have our car. If we install Amazon in a Mercedes, we actually give away data from one of the crucial data sources in the world. So we will never do that. And we're going to create our own platform, which is, which is really interesting. Um, and then another thing, Mercedes has a car sharing service called cars to go. BMW has one called drive. Now a few weeks ago, they decided that they will merge the two to fight car sharing services like, like Uber. And, and this is fascinating because, anyway, you know, Mercedes and BMW, they're huge competitors. They're big companies, beautiful companies. But even though they're so big, they decided for this new service that the old competitors have to work together against one of those tech giants. And, and this is a new dynamic of competition that you see that old competitors are still competitors, but they're also partnering up against them. And that is that's an interesting evolution. Um, I expect at a certain moment to see this more in other industries. I su suspect surprises. Uh, I was surprised with Orange in France. Orange in France, the telco player, they created their own smart speaker. And I asked them, why don't you work together with, with Google? You could work with Google. They said, yes, but Google and Amazon, their smart speaker is not mainstream yet in France, our key market. If we move first and we have the people to do that, if we move first, we can actually maybe take a big part of that market with our own smart speaker, which could create an enormous advantage versus working together with a tech giant like, like Google. So you see a number of big companies that really have the vision and the guts to go full force against them. It's, it's a fantastic thing to follow. It's a very bold strategy. It's a risky strategy, but I think a number of them is making the right choice just to, to fight back and, and keep on going like that.